Welcome back to the second video. Now we're doing some last minute glazing here uh, on a couple of pinholes on the top of the tank. Then we're gonna get to cutting the primer down with wet sanding here. <coughs> um, initially, we wanna sand with 400 grit uh, to cut our glaze down and our 2K primer. You know, you could use a 600, but you're gonna be sitting there a little longer. 400, as long as you're careful, uh, not getting into the black or the pinstripe here, you're okay. So at this point, I'm using 800. I already did the 400 grit cutting down our primer, right? Now I'm using 800 to feather in the edges and go around the whole tank with 800 because um, our clear coat is gonna be sticking directly on the 800 on the sides of the tank, okay? And spraying base over the uh, the for the 800 primer is not going to be an issue as well okay so i'm just washing the whole tank down uh, with our 800 grit we're going to mask it off after this and you're going to see me in my home office basically uh you know masking this thing up and then we're going to go into painting our base coat so we are pretty much getting there we're going to wash it down after this and let it dry we could do squeegee it down with a, uh, a chamois or something let it dry uh, very good and then we're going to get into fine line ta taping our pinstripe up masking up the center all righty all righty so sometimes you can actually bring your body work and do it in the home while you're sitting and watching tv so this is my home office guys not sure if all of you have ever seen this but uh, this is my little kitchenette there. I got a little go pet up there, protein shake, blunder, full size fridge. Uh, and yeah, this is my home office. So, anyway, here's the tank. So, this is the uh, Harley Sport, original Harley Sportster tank, as you already know. And I told you that I don't want to, I didn't want to um, sand all of this off because this is all original and uh i just wanted to keep the original colors and lines and decals on this thing and we had a big dent over here from the handlebar i pushed this section in and if i would have basically body worked it um you see that there that's okay this side this side's damaged here this kink if I body worked it, that corner was getting close into the pinstripe here, and I knew that it would it would I would be coming in scratching this up, just trying to blend get the shape here. So I just said, screw it, let me just kind of fix this cracking in here, right? And then I'm just gonna paint it with the dent here, because I, I mean it's gonna be a tank lamp. I could decorate it, show off this side instead of this side or whatever, right? It's not gonna be a huge deal. So. Uh, we have everything sanded. We we actually welded a washer in place. We have this part basically bolted up behind the washer. You have you have all the video for that. If you're watching this video now, you should have seen the whole process of building this. We put filler all around it. We blended it. So the pole is just going to screw onto it after we splice this together, right? And then we have our external coming out here our plug all taped up we're gonna wipe all this down before we clear it um, so what we're gonna do is just mask up this classic line here this original pinstriping uh, so we did 400 and then we went to 800 on this whole side and the whole thing is 800 because I wanted to I, you need to clear over 800 you can't I wouldn't be clearing over six or eight 400 grit okay 800 is a good grit to clear over uh, to flow coat Okay, so this is all basically prepared with 800, uh, even the top. Okay, We're, it's not going to be in the weather. It's going to be in the house, so it, it's going to be fine. Okay, we could base over the 800, no problem. Um, it does have a few little rock chips and whatnot in it. There's really nothing I can do about it unless I get some black paint and just kind of touch it with a uh, brush, but then it's going to have like a nice black spot. So I'm just going to clear it, man. I'm just going to wipe it down good, uh, take out the the dust from in there, and then um, clear it after we do the black base on the rest of the tank. We're going to just outline this with fine line tape, 
sections at a time we're just going to mask it up so this is how you want to do it so i'm just following the old old school pinstriping here okay if i go over into the black a little bit that's fine because it's going to be black again anyway right so this is all i'm doing here okay and at the end of it just make sure you're turning inward you're turning inward so you can start again going around. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like this. And then on the corners, you want to kind of push while you do it. While you turn. I know this kind of looks a little easy. and I don't know. I've never done this before like this. Hopefully it comes out good. You know, hopefully it comes out good. As far as the the blend here. Cuz it's going to we're going to base this now black and try to get this stuff black mostly. I won't I won't do too much of the bottom, maybe just a light light coat around the rest of it, but mainly we want to get this primer black. So you know, so we can do what you want to do. So now I'm just going to tape up the center here. Okay. And that's pretty much, you know, going to be it. Okay, this. Done. Okay, uh, the next step would be to make sure you're pushing everything down really well. So take your time, okay, and just push really, really well. I would actually put a little something on this corner here. It looks like we're not covering. Don't get too much wax and grease on it. Tack it and then black it and then take this off and clear it. So we'll go ahead and do that tonight. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Both sides all masked up, ready to rock and roll. And once it's cleared up and painted, we could just put it up and it'll be a working lamp. Can't wait to see it. Uh, the other ones are gonna be a lot cooler because we're gonna be doing some candy and graphics on it. All right, and it's not like, uh, it's not gonna have dents in it. This has one dent in it, but it's okay. This is gonna be a cool lamp. All right, talk soon. All right, so what we're going to be doing is some maintenance things uh, before we start painting. Um, I like to keep a roll of plumber's tape around just in case. So I'm putting, uh, I'm moving this over from my other gun to this one. And I just like to put uh, some plumber's tape on here. Now, remember, put it on the way you're going to screw on anything, right? So it doesn't come off. So if you put it on the other way, it would basically peel it off but now okay and I'm gonna be using the Atom Mini X16 spray gun here fantastic high quality gun I love it uh, but what I'm gonna be doing is changing the tip kit from a 1.0 to a 2.0 uh, right here so if we take a look 1.2 did I just say 2.0 I meant 1.2 2.0 would be crazy uh, 1.0, although is good and you can do gas tanks and all that, it has a pretty good fan pattern. I just want a little bit more paint coming out. All right, so I'm going to be changing this out. Uh, now, remember, when getting an X16 spray gun or a Atom X27, X20, whatever you know, gun you guys get, remember, you don't have to completely disassemble spray guns every time you use them actually not recommended to take the whole gun apart you don't have to okay I would never take this knob out unless you're having real big issues I would never mess with this unless you're having air leaking issues okay this should come factory preset if anything you might have to tighten it just a little so air doesn't leak out okay um, if we take the cap off here you're right you're never supposed to take this off this stays Okay, this whole unit here stays. Never take it off because you're gonna damage the gun. You're gonna ruin it. Uh, this is an adapter for the quick cup system, which we're gonna be using. 
uh, the 350 milliliter quick cup system. This goes on here. Uh, and this is a special size that is sold at Zula.com. Okay, you can get this adapter. I'm not sure exactly what the size is, but it fits this threading. This is a smaller threading than a normal spray gun. Where is the other spray gun? I don't have it here. It's probably in there. Here. Um, if we take a look here, it's a smaller thread than that. All right. Uh, and they have a metal version as well for the full size. There's only two size adapters. The big size, it comes in the aluminum, metal, or the plastic, which I like better because it kind of snugs on without even have to wrenching it on. Um, and then it comes in uh, the smaller size, which goes on the Mini X16 here. Okay, that's pretty much the two sizes. Um, and all you gotta do is just screw it on. You could put a little bit of Teflon tape if you want, uh, plumber's tape I mean, and then you just tighten it like that. This is what I like to do with this. I just tighten it, it doesn't damage the threads. It tightens really good. Just don't over tighten it because you're gonna strip it, right? All right, so it's, it's hand tight. Um, to change out the tip, all we have to do is take this out 10 millimeter. I don't have the 10 millimeter. Okay, take this out, take the spring out, make sure the plastic is on the back side. Squeeze your trigger. The needle should pop right out. Okay. Um, all we gotta do is replace the needle, the cap, and this is a very affordable tip kit, guys. Um, that's why I love the Atom spray gun so much because not only are they super high quality spray guns, they have parts and replacements that are very affordable. Like if you got an extra tip kit, these three pieces for a Iwata, Sada, you're looking at 150, 200 bucks, sometimes even up to 300 bucks if you're looking for a full size spray gun. Um, even with uh, Develbis, you're looking at, you know, they charge you individual. So you buy the needle, which is like 30, 40 bucks. You buy the cap, which is like 30, 40, 50 bucks. And then you buy the tip, which is like 30, 40, 50 bucks. It all adds up. You know, sometimes there are a lot more. With the Atom, you get everything in a kit like I just showed you. This is the 1.2 needle, 1.2 air cap, one and 1.2 tip here. For like 60 bucks, 50, 60 bucks, give or take. That's how much it costs. I don't know what the pricing is currently right now, but uh, super affordable tip kit. And then you basically can convert your gun super easily. And I just, I'll show you how to do this. So it's basically a 10 millimeter. Always use the socket part, okay? The full enclosed part, not this, because you could end up stripping it, okay? And then we're just going to give it a, a nice little, that's it, that's all you wanna do. And you don't over, never over tighten these guys, never. Because you're gonna damage the gun. A lot, of, I hear so many stories where people just screwing up their spray guns. Uh, when you're cleaning it, you could take the tip off and clean in here with a little brush, okay? That's all you gotta do. So we're putting the 1.2 and it has engraved in here 1.2, you can see it. Okay, and when we tighten it, we're gonna tighten it very lightly. Guys, don't go nuts. Watch, that's it. That's all you want to do. It's not going nowhere, all right? You're not riding the damn thing like a motorcycle. Make sure it's the 1.2 cap. Okay, uh, and then we'll put the needle in, 1.2 needle. Just slides right in, don't force it. There's a little hole in here, okay, that it goes through, okay? Slide it in, push it in like that. Okay, make sure it comes out, right there it's touching. Okay, put your spring in, and then you put your cap on, and that's it, your tip kit's complete. Now what I like to do is squeeze full trigger all the way, tighten it until it just tightens, and that's it, that's all you wanna do. It's fully done. Now I will make sure this is completely horizontal, and I'll give this a little tighten, a little bit more. And that's it, okay? And that's it, pretty much done. Okay, completely changed out the new tip kit. What to do to store it is just put the 1.0 tip kit back in the box here. 
um, so we know where it is next time we need to convert to smaller size. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, now, what we're going to be doing is mixing up our black base coat. Okay, it's nice to always have your paint openers around. Okay, and we're going to mix right in side here with our liner. Let's actually give it a quick little mix. Just making sure there's no thick buildup at the bottom. I don't feel anything. We're just going to be doing a little bit of black uh, for the inner side of the tank there. We really don't need a lot. I'll just make a little extra, but we're not going to need as much uh, at all. Okay, now will be a good time to put my gloves on. Okay, so I'm going to be using a medium reducer. Actually, I could be using a slow because it's hot out. It's like 90 degrees out, but we're not painting a huge area, so it'll be fine uh, with the medium reducer here. So let's just take a quick note, 150 milliliters. So you basically want to go to 300, right? Uh, because base coat is one to one. Make sure it is reducer because the last time I poured in wax and grease remover by mistake. Okay, so we're at the 300 level. This is much more, more than enough paint than I need. And guys, we're also going to be using the gun bud system, which is an amazing little lighting system that goes on your uh, cup. I'll show you how it works in just a bit. It's universal, so you can put it on large spray guns or even smaller spray guns. It's a fantastic device. Uh, gun bud, they actually, you can get them on Zula as well. They have a special CBO Lee lighting system in here, which replicates natural light. So it's not like you're looking under a fluorescent light. It gives you natural light because basically 95% of the time we're looking at our cars in natural outside light, right? So it's, uh, it's really helpful with paint color correction and blending and even just overall seeing what you're painting. Um, so we'll probably dim the lights down in here so we can show you how that works. So too thin. You can see how, nah, it's, it's probably not that bad. That's nah, good, it's good, it's good. Okay, so we're just gonna do the tank black and then uh, we are going to do some silver on the other tanks there. Okay, super simple cup system here. Okay, all ready to roll. All we have to do is do this. Slides on the big and then boom. Okay, check for leaks. Always want to check for leaks. As long as it's not leaking, we're good. Looks good to me. Okay, so the gun is set up, ready to spray base coat. Uh, what we're gonna do now, last minute, is actually tack it down because you always wanna tack and also wax and grease before you paint anything. Okay, so we're gonna wax and grease this baby down. And ideally, ideally, this should be primed. This right there. But you can get away at times without priming it. And I'm gonna show you how to dust it and do it, okay? But ideally, you'd wanna be painting over full primer. So this is wax and grease, and then we're gonna tack it as well. Okay, so now we just tack it lightly just to take the lint off. That's all you gotta do. Actually, I gotta close the garage doors, okay, um, before I start blasting this thing. So we'll close the garage doors really quickly. And I have to mask that up. So just keep this over here for now. <laughs> 